Hey guys, Dino Zero. <clears throat> Mid morning coffee break. Sitting out here in God's glory. Starting to turn fall. Got some pie pumpkins here. Uh, we're gonna make some pumpkin pies. Uh, you know, the leaves are changing, the season's changing, and it's a uh, it's busy, busy time. Um, we're getting ready. You know, the winter is gonna be here. It's coming before you know it. It'll be here. We got to get the wood pile, you know, up to par. Uh, we know the winter's coming, so that's what we've been doing. We've been, you know, we've been canning and harvesting, and there's only so many canning and cooking videos you can do before your channel gets boring. And I don't want to bore anybody. Uh, and we've just been crazy, crazy busy, uh, dropping trees and cutting wood and cleaning, uh, you know, cleaning up the garden and cleaning out the chicken house and the barns and so on and so forth. Because you know, like the old, the rumpled one says. Uh, if you fail to prepare, then you're preparing to fail, and uh, you know we don't want to. We don't want to have a winters are hard enough the way that they are. We don't need to have any added extra stress because you know we had you know lazy butts sitting around all day not doing nothing, and uh, meanwhile we're cold because I didn't bother to get enough wood or whatever. So yeah, I'm out here sitting here having my uh, my cup of coffee, and of course, holy crap, I had some good coffee. Um, just thought I'd hang out here on the on the back deck slash hair care and tire center slash deer stand. I know I uh, I, I told y'all. Uh, oh look, new shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's brand new, but it's all right. Uh, I know I told y'all we do some hunting videos. I just haven't had a chance to get out and hunt yet. We've been we've been busy. I've just got a lot of things you know, that's on my plate every day that I got to do. Now, I haven't been out to hunt. Things that I hunt like, you know, frogs and groundhogs and doves, they're tasty. They're tasty summer treats. They're tasty early fall treats, but they're not a mainstay of our diet. This doesn't put a whole lot of meat in the freezer. It's not like going out and deer hunting. You know, you go out and get five or six deer, you got a freezer full of meat that's going to last a long time. Well, you go out and you kill five or six doves and you got a couple of chicken nuggets, you know, and that's, it's like you eat like a little bit of popcorn and it's good, they're gone. So I, I only go out and I hunt those kind of things whenever I, because I consider that to be playtime, you know, hunting doves and, and shooting the groundhogs and frog gigging and stuff like that. That's playtime. And if my work, if I don't feel like my work is done, I don't play. I don't take the time to play. I don't sit down unless I feel like I have something accomplished. And uh, right now with the winter coming on, you know, we've got our fall garden going, which if you guys want to see the, how the garden's doing, uh, then leave me a comment or something and I'll try to remember to take the camera down there and uh, the green beans are doing good. The peas, eh, I don't know yet. And we got some little tomato plants that we're going to have. i got to get on this greenhouse and get it done uh, so we can move our tomato plants into the greenhouse so we try to have some fresh tomatoes. Uh, try to, sorry, I'm calling Mabel. Have some fresh tomatoes through the wintertime. So uh, we're here. I appreciate the, uh, the messages asking me if we're okay. We are okay. I know it's been a couple of days since I posted a, a, a video of any kind. I just want to let you know that we're still here. Everything's fine. Uh, we're just crazy busy, man. I'm busier than a one-legged guy in a butt-kicking contest. So uh, I'm trying to keep up with everybody's videos. I'm trying to keep up with uh, you know the, the comments and the messages, but I, I, I can't. I, I cannot. When I, when I come in, I come in at dark, even though it's getting darker earlier now. When I come in at dark, I'm tired, you know, like we get up at dawn and we, we start going. And uh, like I said, this is a busy year, it was a busy time of the year anyway. And we'll try to have more time to hang out, you know, in the, in the wintertime when things slow down a little bit. We don't have so much, you know, four or five gallon bucket full of apples that we got to get dealt with, you know, canned up somehow and preserved. Uh, we still got, you know, we got some tomatoes coming on. You don't think you can see them in the background there. Uh, that we're still going to try to get uh, uh, sauce or salsa, something like that, made up and canned. But, uh, Regardless of, you know, and I don't know if anybody's noticed, but the the country's not doing so good <laughs> right now. It's kind of, things are kind of screwy right now, you know, and, and everything's iffy. Nobody knows what's going to happen for sure as far as government goes, or as far as world goes, or whatever kind of war they're trying to start. But one thing we know for certain is winter is coming, so get ready for it. Uh, you know, start getting your ducks in a row right now in the fall and don't wait till a winter storm hits and then all of a sudden try to be scrambling to get, you know, whatever it is that you need. Uh, I, I don't like doing that. I, I don't like, you know, I, I hate the thought of my kids being cold and hungry because, you know, I'm sitting on the back porch drinking coffee and not doing my thing, you know, so. 
just uh, wanted to hang out with y'all for a little bit and have some coffee. I'll leave a link to the coffee uh, down below, the Odyssey coffee link. Uh, I do not get my coffee for free. I buy it like everybody else does uh, whenever I can. Uh, it is not expensive. It's, uh, it's just about the same as actually getting coffee from Walmart. Uh, a decent flavored coffee. Uh, so yeah, I don't get and I don't get paid for doing you know when I cook on the on the uh, the silver fire stuff. I don't get paid for any of that. I'm I don't, I'm not making. I'm, that's not why I do stuff like that. I'm not. I'm not. I don't do that for. I'll show you guys what I'm using and how I'm doing things because I am very confident that what I can do anybody else can do, and that's the only reason I make videos is to show people. Hey, look, you know, everybody's in a tight spot. Everybody's having hard times. This is what I'm doing for me and my large family, to, and we're making it. You know, we're making it. I'm not trying to make any money. I'm not trying to have people give me a bunch of crap. I'm not asking nothing. I don't want anything. We're good. I don't want, don't send me nothing. Don't send me no money. Don't send me no nothing. We're fine. Thank you for all the offers, but no, no. I'll, you know, what's that old Charlie Daniel song? I ain't asking nobody for nothing that I can't get on my own. Or something like that. So anyway, uh... What else is going on? How are you guys doing? Yeah, all right, that's cool. Right. Sorry to hear about that. Hope all gets better. <laughs> trying, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I don't know, sorry. Uh, the contest has ended. Uh, we're gonna be doing the drawing this coming weekend, uh, which is the uh, 11th, 12th, I don't, I don't know what today is. Uh, but this coming weekend, I know, is when Uncle Buck will be here. And uh, AJ and Hibbles in the Bush and Lady B and moving on, they're coming here for our, our annual gathering here at the house and we're going to draw names and uh, we'll let them draw the names and we'll have a good time and we'll make a big deal out of it. And, and uh, here's our new dog, by the way, Harley. There's my new Harley lab dog, Harley, a.k.a. the big dummy. And of course, we got Mabel still. So, all right, go on, B-dogs. All right, y'all, well, I'm going to get back after it. Um, if anybody knows anything about log splitters, uh, I have an opportunity to buy a 25-ton Troy Belt log splitter. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a little bit of trading and stuff like that, bartering uh, with a little bit of what well, little bit of money that I have. Um, if anybody knows anything about them, uh, leave me a comment or send me a message. Is the 25-ton Troy Belt a decent log splitter? Uh, because I would really could really use some advice on that. I've never had a log splitter before. Uh, if it's a good one, let me know. If it's not a good one, please let me know. I don't want to get something that's going to crap out on me. I need something that, that's, you know, like everything else that I have. It's a workhorse, and I can beat the crap out of it and use the crap out of it and still be okay. So if anybody out there can give me a hand with that, Randy, maybe out in Iowa, Randy, man, you know a lot of stuff. If, that, if that's something that, that's good, let me know. Other than that, oh, I quit smoking. Uh, a week today I've been using this little vaporizer thing that Bubba uh, did a video about. Uh, Bubba's low buck, uh, the low buck prepper, I think his channel is. I'll leave a link to his channel down there too. Uh, he did a video about these, and my old buddy Fred Hart did a video about these vapor things. Hey, even the super fly fat guy, man, he did a good video about these, even though he didn't stick with it because he's not a smoker. But I've been, you know, trying to quit for a while, and this thing, this vapor thing, man, works. I haven't even wanted a cigarette, uh, even with my coffee, you know, even I haven't even wanted a cigarette. It's been a week today. Um, so thank you very much, uh, Superfly, Fred Hart, uh, the Lowbuck Prepper. Thank you for doing the videos on this because I never would have ever even heard of one of these things uh, unless you guys would have done your videos. And I'm not going to do a video about it because there's like electronical and technical crap going on here that I don't know anything about. All I know is you push this button and vapor comes out and, and it helps you quit smoking and that's exactly what it did for me and it works. So check out Fred Hart and uh, the Lowbuck, uh, the Lowbuck Prepper. I'll leave try to remember to leave links in the description box or the about box whatever they call it nowadays uh, to their channels and you can go and check out these where they where they got this one from uh, I got this one from the same place that Bubba got his uh, uh, Loba got his from and uh, it works if you're trying to quit smoking yeah it works for me and it worked for him so and I was a pretty heavy smoker I know I never smoked on videos because I don't condone it it's not a good thing at all not even close and I definitely don't want anybody thinking that, uh, you know, well, Jay no smoke, so it's okay to smoke, because it's not. My lungs are screwed, and it's, I'm already feeling better. And uh, I really appreciate uh, the Lowbuck and Fred Hart for doing their videos on this thing. So anyway, I'm in rambling. I'm going to stop rambling. I don't want to bore crap out of anybody. Uh, have a great day. Let me know about the log splitter if anybody knows. God bless, and have a great day in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.